Hello, <laughs> welcome to my channel. Solve math like a boss. Yan. So ngayon, pag-usapan natin or ituturo ko sa inyo yung application ng trigonometric ratio or fun ratios or functions and that's angle of elevation and depression. So dito, specific na yung function na gagamitin natin para masolve natin yung unknown part. It's either unknown side or yung unknown angle nung right triangle. Okay? First, what is an elevation? So yung angle of elevation, so if a person stands and looks up at an object, the angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal line. Ito yung horizontal line na tinutukoy that dito. Of, ayan, the ang, horizontal line of sight and the object. Ito po yung line of sight. Ito yung object. So this is your angle of elevation. nag -e elevate Okay? Now, on the other hand, angle of depression. Ito naman po ang depression. Ito lang. Ayan. So if a person stands and looks down at an object, the angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal line of sight and the object. So ito po yung line of sight niya, ito yung object, ito yung line of sight, and then the horizontal line, yung angle na napo-form, yun po yung angle of depression. Ano lang, mabilis na ano, kapag nag-elevate, nang pataas ang tingin, that's elevation. Kapag na-depress, joke lang. Pababa, ibig sabihin depression. Di ba pag depressed, mababa yung feeling? So, pababa siya. Yung shortcut na lang doon. Okay? So, solve natin. Solve tayo ng right triangle. Now, from the top of a 72 meter high vertical cliff, a boat has an angle of depression of 32 degrees. How far is the boat from the base of the cliff? So, give your answer to an appropriate degree of accuracy. So, dito... Um, di ba ito yung angle of depression natin, 32 degrees? Tapos, binigay po yung height ng cliff. Ang tanong, how far? Ibig sabihin, gano kalayo to Okay? Now, yung kapag ganyan po yung case natin, ayan, ito ba ito yung angle of depression? Para siyang nakabuo ng rectangle lang dito. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang isa sa properties ng rectangle, um, ito po yung sa interior, alternate interior na yan po, ay pares ng angle. So, 32 degrees din to. So, pwedeng gamitin natin itong taas, pwedeng gamitin natin itong baba. Since we're talking about the distance, ito yung tinatanong natin or yung question mark. Okay? So, dito, binigay po yung 72 degrees. Binigay din yung angle. Now, anong specific function or trigonometric function ang gagamitin natin? Okay? So, una, kailangan mo nang i-represent or malaman kung sino ba si adjacent, sino ba si opposite, and hypotenuse. Dito, since ang focus natin ay 32 degrees, di ba ang tinutumbok natin dyan, yun yung opposite. Yung katabi niya na side, siya yung adjacent. At yung nakaslant na to, yung longest side, siya yung hypotenuse. Yan yung kailangan natin unang malaman para alam natin kung anong trigonometric function yung gagamitin natin. So since ang hinahanap po yung question mark, yung adjacent, kailangan natin siya. And then ang given po yung 72 degrees opposite. So, anong trigonometric function ang may kinalaman sa opposite and adjacent? Ito po ang may kinalaman sa opposite and adjacent, tangent. So, we're going to use the tangent function. Okay? Mangyayari, diba, ang tangent natin, tangent 32 degrees, kasi ito yung given, is equal to opposite over adjacent, di ba? Ano ba yung opposite natin? Ang opposite po natin ay um, sukat, 72, degree, 72 meters. Over ang adjacent natin, nirepresent natin as x yung, yung, ano, yung distance. Nirepresent natin. Now to solve, di ba we have tangent 32 degrees is equal to 72m over x. To solve, ano lang yan? Cross multiply lang yan. So, magiging x tangent 32 degrees is equal to 72 meters. Okay? Now, since we're going to solve for the value of x, divide both sides by tangent 32. Divide by tangent 32 degrees. So, x is equal to, using your calculator, the magic calculator, kasi hindi ko naman kabisado ang mga tangent. So, gawin lang natin, type nyo lang yung 72 kung high-tech yung calculo, pwede yung direkta. Type nyo lang yung 72, tapos 
divided by, since naka-over yan, type nyo yung tangent, yung tan, tapos 32. May lalabas po dyan. Ang nasa calculator ko ay 115.22. So, ibig sabihin, 115.22 meters yung distance natin. So, this is our distance. Okay? So, 115.22. Another example. Ganun lang po yung pagkuha. Number, example number 2 talaga to, ha? Hindi siya 3. A ladder of length 30 meters is kept in against a wall of length 20 meters such that their topmost point is in contact with the another, with one another. And their bottom point are at cer certain distance as shown in the figure. Iyan yung figure na nasa baba, yun yung given natin. Find the angle subtended by the ladder on the floor. So we're going to look or to solve for the angle. Dito, hindi binigay yung angle. Okay? So angle A po siya. Ngayon, syempre, first thing that we need to do is to identify the, the opposite, adjacent, or kung ano man siya. Diba, since ang focus natin ay angle A, yung tinutumbok niya, yun yung opposite. And then, yung nakaslant na to, siya yung hypotenuse. Okay, kasi ang hypotenuse, diba, opposite ng 90 degrees. And then, ito po yung adjacent. So, walang kinalaman yung adjacent. Hindi natin mahahanap yung angle gamit ang adjacent kasi walang value yung adjacent. Ang may value ay opposite and hypotenuse. Ngayon, tanong, anong trigonometric function ang gagamitin natin or appropriate na gamitin para dito? Ayan. Ano ba ang may kinalaman sa opposite and hypotenuse? Ito po, si sine. So, we're going to use sin A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sin A is equal to, ano bang opposite natin? 20 over 30. Yan. Ito na po yung trigonometric ratio natin. Now, since we're looking for the value of, or the degree measure, ganito ang susundin nyo sa calculator nyo ha. Kapag angle ang nawawala, ang una nyo gagawin ay if press ang shift or second function nung calculator nyo. Yung sa akin, na calculator, Casio FX 991EX ay shift. Press natin yung shift and then, i-press nyo yung sign since we're, the trigonometric function is sign. So, dapat makakakita kayo dyan ng sign raised to negative 1. So, hindi siya kahit sa camera. Sign raised to negative 1. Yung dapat ang lalabas. And then, kung wala kayong open parenthesis, lagyan. Tapos, lagay nyo yung, type nyo yung 20 divided by 30. Kung hindi divided by, yun yung sinabi ko, may fraction bar kasi sa akin. So, 20 over 30. Ayan. Tapos, close nyo. May, yung iba, pwede nyo wala ng close eh. And then, press nyo syempre yung equal sign. So, ang lumabas sa akin ay 41.81. So, ang sagot ay 41.81 in decimal form. Tapos, i-press nyo ulit yung may degree, minutes, and seconds. Pag pinress nyo, lalabas na ang sagot ay... Tada! Sa nakita. Yan. 41 degrees. 48 minutes and 37.13 seconds. So this is the exact degree measure of angle A. Pero pinapayagan naman na yung 41.81, yung decimal form. Kasi yung ibang calculator warang, walang degree. Okay? So that's how you use your scientific calculator in getting the angle and in getting the, in solving for the side of a right triangle. Okay? That's all. Hmm. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Okay? <laughs> yeah. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to... Ta-da! My voice talaga. Solve math like a boss. <laughs> okay? <laughs>